new storm team. Well, folks, it is feeling like winter at this time here across our area. As we look at our current KX cam here in Bismarck, we are seeing those mostly cloudy skies, so it is quite a winter sort of scene with that snow on the ground, too. And our current temperatures are at 27 degrees, and the winds are out of the west northwest at three miles per hour. But let's head over to Bowman, where we are also seeing that sort of cloudscape as well. And our current temperatures are at 37 degrees, and the winds are out of the southeast at nine miles per hour, but we are continuing to see those clouds starting to stream on in from the west and it's just going to continue to persist off and on throughout the rest of the night. So compared to last night, we will see a lot more cloud cover. Now looking at our current temperatures, our temperatures right now are mainly in the 20s and the teens, exception there in Henninger and also there in Bowman in the 30s. So overall though, it is a relatively cold day and also there in Dickinson at 33 degrees as well. And our winds are kind of changing direction at this time and they're changing from that northwesterly flow to more of a southerly flow and that's going to continue to change over the next 24 hours as well and that's going to help increase the moisture content in the air as we head into our Friday. Now looking at our weather headlines moving forward, we will see increased clouds and cold temperatures for the day Friday and once we get into the weekend, that's where those snow chances start to increase and we will be entering a very big cold spell as we get into Thanksgiving week and also an overall quiet Thanksgiving week is in store for us as well. Now looking at our rush hour forecast, we will see those temperatures drop down overall into the 20s with partly cloudy skies and it's just going to be one of those times that you just want to just stay in the car with the heater on and as we get into our eating scroll forecast make sure you're bundled up because temperatures will drop down into the teens as we get into around seven and nine o'clock and we will continue to see these altering clouds as well and overnight tonight temperatures will drop down into the teens and a few single digits is quite possible as well with a few 20 on the potential as well. Now on the day Friday, we will see those temperatures increase only into the 20s and the 30s. So it's going to be a one more relatively warmer day, but things will start to cool off really, really quickly as we head into the weekend into next week. Now we will be watching this area low pressure here as we get into the day on Saturday and Sunday, and that is going to be providing us with our next chance of some snowfall. Now this area low pressure will continue to march its way towards the east and it will allow for some moisture ahead of it to develop and we will continue to see that snow potential to increase as we head into our Saturday evening and to our Sunday and looking at the amount of snow we're expecting for right now for our southern regions we're expecting around a trace to an inch with locally higher totals but once we get further towards the north that's where we are expecting one to three inches with those locally higher totals. Now as far as Williston is concerned we're going to continue to see those temperatures drop down way below average into the teens by the time we get into our Monday and our Tuesday with that sunshine to give us some sort of quote unquote warm up. But once we get into Dickinson, we will see a slightly above freezing temperatures for our Friday and then those freezing temperatures will continue throughout the next several days with chances of precipitation by the time we get into our Sunday. And as far as Minot is concerned, we will see those temperatures drop into the teens by the time we get into our Monday with those chances of precipitation on Saturday and Sunday and for Thanksgiving it's going to be really cold and as far as Bismarck is concerned we will see that chance of snow Saturday night into our Sunday and temperatures will overall drop over the next several days with a very cold Thanksgiving in store for us folks so Joel it looks like it's going to be a cold pattern over the next several days and I'm here to tell you overnight lows is going to be even colder. Yeah, that's how it looks like. We've certainly seen some pretty cold Thanksgivings in the past. Of course, you may not know this, but Bismarck area, they got a fun little 5K that morning that people certainly bundle up for. It's called the Turkey Trot. So right. once again, it looks like it's going to be a frosty morning for that run. Yeah, so we're going to have to watch that very carefully mm -hmm. and make sure you're bundled up for sure. Not a lot of people are going to be sweating during that one with 16 degrees. All right. Yep, um, I agree. I guess. Andre, thanks so much. Still to come on KX News at 4.